These teams looking for that playoff berth. The difference is Rajasthan on the brink of qualification, whereas Delhi Capitals are still trying to make a run for it. Hello and welcome. It's Cool Stylish Fans presents Match Centre Live. It's going to be quite an interesting battle there because two batting powerhouses going at each other. And I've got some experts here to answer some of my questions for tonight. All right, Scotty, we've got Graham Smith as well as Shane Watson. Good evening, gentlemen. Evening. You guys are looking very sharp. You're very brave uh, to call Scotty an expert, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it started already. Let's get into it. it. It really has. You know, it's the big game, so then we've yep. got the big guns. Actually, Shane Watson asked me to say that for you. So, but here Scotty we are. in the house. Big guns tonight. It's a weight thing, you see. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's talk about Rajasthan Royals. Yep. Well, they've been on that top spot for five weeks. They slipped down to number two. But here they are. They're playing uh, Delhi Capitals. What do you reckon? Do they move to that top spot? Do they qualify? Or there's still Delhi Capitals who will pose a threat? Uh, look, I think Rajasthan will start as favourites and they should... Got things to think about, combinations. They had a terrible performance at Eden Gardens after... The Delhi Capitals' chance to make the finals. We'll have to wait and see how he goes. Indeed, and Rishabh Pant has more than a point to prove is because, well, he's got a clash against Sanju Samson. Like I mentioned, both of them on that flight. Up this season. Indeed. And what have you been a part of the Delhi Capitals, uh, you know, the, the squad, the camp there? And if you talk about Rishabh Pant, you know, how impressive has his comeback been after that major setback due to his injury? Oh, it's, it's a miracle it's, it, to be the very best that he possibly can, which is a reason why he, he's been so good from a young age. Um, and now to be able to bring it together in the IPL, and he's having his best season, I think, in, in well, I believe and know, in this IPL. He, over the previous sort of two or three seasons that he played, he didn't really set the IPL alight. He might have had one or two good games here and there, whereas this time he's been really consistent. He's found his rhythm and a game plan, pr produced it at his very best throughout this tournament. And not just with the bat, right? He's also been brilliant behind the stumps. And uh, that was one of the concerns, not just you know, from the Delhi squad, but also from India's perspective, is that how good would he... ...in my own mind that he's back to his ability to perform at the international level. He's ready for those opportunities once again. And he's still the man in Delhi that... I think the other players in their side will still look to lean on in terms of leadership and performance and leading the way from the front. Right, and not just Rishabh Pant. You know, if you talk about Delhi Capitals, there has been quite the difference when uh, Fraser McGurk was added in before him and after him. It's like using a sunscreen. Before you use the sunscreen and after you use the sunscreen, there's a major, <laughs> major difference. And Fraser McGurk has been able to do that. 9.3 is what their run rate is now in the power play. Before it was about uh, 7. Yeah, I mean, I think you, you could probably highlight like Rishabh Pant, Tristan Stubbs with it. Uh, and that matchup today is going to be interesting to watch. Right, well, Fraser McGurk and Tristan Stubbs, while well, these two are there in the camp, you expect a lot of run fest there at Kotla. And anyway, Delhi is known for that. But you see there is a certain corner. People have been calling it the wow corner. Well, you see shots, you go like take a bow corner. It's also where the fans go like, how is it happening in this corner? This is the cow's corner. Up as well, but this role currently is in those last five, six, seven overs, and he's done it so expertly well. If they do get off to that start, and that's why we always bring it back to the openers, if they give them that platform, then look out, because punt and trubs, they're just brilliant. Indeed. Let's take a look at some of the numbers that uh, three of the best hitters have been able to produce, whether it's Tristan Subs or Fraser McGurk. Certainly is that for the Royals. And he's coming off at the back of a great domestic season. Now, the skipper, Rishabh Pant, while is, he is on track of a great IPL 2024, there is... Some ...tonight for the Rajasthan Royals, and, but there's going to be some firepower there for sure. Rishabh Pant and also Tristan Stubbs, who's been hitting spin very consistently into the stand. Right. Also, you're going to see the Kulchar duo at the Arun Jaitley Stadium, reminding you... ...time to see from that stadium, but uh, hopefully tonight it's a good surface and we have a, a really tight game. All right. It's 36 degrees in Delhi. Does that slow down the pitch? Wouldn't think so. You think the grounds would have put enough water in? So that's, I think, the reason why you're quite comfortable chasing. Right. So, well, there were a couple of injury concerns there at the Delhi Capitals, and Rishabh Pant was asked about it. But Ishan Sharma comes back. How does that change the order for the Delhi Capitals? Well, I think with Ishan Sharma back, firstly, what it does, it brings back a lot of experience. He's got a huge... Um, and well, Delhi bats first. Now, the thing is that even if the top order disappoints them, there is an interesting partnership that comes up as a saviour is Rishabh Pant and Tristan Stubbs, and that is a solid bankable partnership to watch out for. 
out for, especially if that top order fails to deliver. But in the uh, reverse fixture, we saw, you know, when they were playing against Rajasthan Royals, who were chasing 185, Tristan Stubbs played a very valuable knock. By Nicky Moff, pitched the ball up, LBW Kendall as well. So try and bring the ball back into him. Right, well, Rajasthan Royals, in their death, actually, they do not concede as many runs. But on the other side, they've got a Tristan Stubbs, and he's been hitting a boundary every four balls. So there is, there has to be a game plan, especially in the death, so that they do not leak too many runs there. Well, they've got some really good candidates to do that. I mean, so Brett Lee said, ideally, plan one is to get him out early. But if not, you've got to have some good defensive options. Right, well, with that, let's very quickly take a look at the teams. This is Playing Eleven, brought to you by Dream Eleven. First, well, let's look at the major difference. Now, Rishabh Pant, how can he come in and change the game around and what would be the counter plan for the man in the middle overs? I just think he needs to keep doing what he's doing. You know, there's a lot of conjecture. Comfort Shahel, you know, just the way he started this season versus how he's been in the last four innings. He's just had two wickets there. Whereas he started the season pretty well. What changed for him? I think sometimes he, you can almost go searching. For right. Not just Susan Shahel, but also all of Rajasthan Royals have a task cut out when it comes to Fraser McGurk. I'll call him the flamboyant Fraser McGurk because the last time Delhi played here, well, he had 84 runs and the fans went like Idil Mange Moore. There's a bomb here over there. That'll be the two spots I'd try and target him. Interesting. I hope the Rajasthan Royals are listening to it. But Trent Bolt, you know, especially in that first over, is the man that you should watch out for because he's got the most number of wickets in that... ...by Dalmia Cement. All right, gentlemen, the first over prediction is Trent Bolt taking a wicket today. No, but my overall prediction will be Delhi... ...anything less than 190. All right, love it. But, but who's winning that battle between Fraser McGurk and Trent Bolt? I think Trent Bolt will, no doubt. He's an experienced campaigner. He doesn't have the pace. Hello and welcome to Cool Stylish Fans presents Match Centre Live. 221 on board by the Delhi Capitals. They were made to bat first, but hey, another explosive 50 out there by Fraser McGurk. I've got with me Mike. Mike, how impressive. An exceptional innings and certainly got DC underway. Right. An explosive start out there by the Delhi Capitals. Rajasthan Royals got into the game in the middle overs, but then it was Tristan Stubbs with that explosive end. Under hits the ball, he hits gaps. He's, a, he's the ideal finisher. Indeed he is. Now the question is, can Rajasthan Royals chase this down? We'll talk about it after the short break. 221 for Rajasthan Royals. Now, interestingly, this is the lowest total at the Arun Jaitley Stadium by a team batting first. So the question is, can Yashasvi Jaiswal and company make a game for themselves? Now, Yashasvi Jaiswal, he didn't have the best start. But now over the couple of seasons, a couple of innings, he's been explosive. Can he continue that form? Yeah, look, he can, but I think... Take, uh, Rajasthan Royals over the line, and it's a big victory for Delhi Capitals. Two points and a 20-run victory for the Capitals. So they'll be happy with that. It's because now four teams are on 12 points, and I'm going to ask my experts, do they still think that the Delhi Capitals do not have a chance in the playoffs? Hello, welcome. This is Cool Stylish Fans Presents Match Centre Live, Graham Smith and Shane Watson. Watto, I asked you a question in the pre-show. Do the Delhi Capitals have a chance, and can they make it a run in the, in, in the top four? Would you change your answer to that after this? Look, well, Matt playing some really good cricket at the right time of the tournament. Indeed, and so are Rajasthan Royals. It's just unfortunate that now two back-to-back -back losses here. But Sanju Samson played a captain's knock and how beautifully got those two wickets. You had, uh, you know, a lot of firepower in our Rajasthan's batting after Sanju Samson got out and they could have still gotten over. But Kuldeep Yadav got that win. Two points for Delhi Capitals and that gave us a Sehye moment skill that he's got and the power that, to burn that he's got, he's going to continue to do that throughout his career. So the right people at the right time stepping up, Kuldeep Yadav, he's, he's certainly one of the very special bowlers that are here in the Tata IPL. His ability to be able to, when he's at his best like he was tonight, to be able to get wickets but all team that he the most. You use the word dynamic. Now, so is the young Aussie, Fraser McGurk. He's explosive and he's also flamboyant and he is our charge performer of the day. The start that they had was, again, an incredible platform that he provided. It was quite a mouth-watering clash, you see, at the Arun Jaitley Stadium. There are plenty of moments there that stood out, but here are some of the moments that caught our eye in our photos of the day.
as well that uh, made it to our photos of the day she hope with that uh, beautiful catch and that proved to be quite the game changer so plenty of uh, positives here for the delhi capitals talking about the rajasthan royals now they had a chance and they were at the brink of qualification and that's how this ipl is so interesting is because uh, we still do not have that first team that qualifies in the playoffs but rajasthan royals would be disappointed back to back losses for them and what do they need to do to fix it yeah they would be disappointed for sure that they've lost the last tournament Indeed, because they've just been phenomenal all season. Also, the first team to make it to 16 points. They need to change, 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 and turn their fortunes around. Well, with that, let me tell you the action of Geo Cinema continues because this is going to be a superhero weekend where three of the biggest franchises of IPL will be in action. Take a look at what we've got for you and take a short break. All of them at 12 points. We do not have a team at 14 points. We've got KKR and RR at 16, and this is how it close it gets. Now both these teams are coming into this one at the back of a loss. SR had just lost to Mumbai Indians yesterday, and they need to do something to stay and consolidate the position in the top four. Yeah, they do. I think both time of uh, this year's IPL. Yep, great point out there. The beauty of for SR is sure is that all their remaining games are at home. But for LSG, they're done with their home games. But KL Rahul has been exemplary for them. KL Rahul has been good as always, and very good. Scored a lot of runs at home, so um, their home fans are going to be you know, out in force for sure. Indeed. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. And we'll talk about the rest tomorrow. Only 13 games remaining in the league stage, so you stay tuned to Geo Cinema 6:30 p.m. tomorrow as the mystery unfolds. Also. We've got Scott Styrus in a new avatar, so you do not want to miss out on Cool Stylish Fans presents Match Center Live. Until next time, it's a good night.